the budget this year has just come out. Uh, as we think of uh, the budget, I would first like to explain what I expected from the budget. Considering that the government was under pressure from population for delivery, I felt that the budget first had to meet the expectations of the people and also meet expectations of corporates on growth, etc. To that extent, the current budget, in my view, has communicated benefits that the government wants to give to the population in every segment, has delivered a number of directional issues on policy, has communicated ease of doing business to corporates, and has given detailed plans in the government's focus area. I would evaluate the budget in two parts. The first part is the communication of benefits to the population across things like black money, across things like um, social security, etc., where I think the government has done exceptional work. It gives the flexibility to the government over the next few years to build uh, more things for uh, development. And on the path of development, it has focused on ease of doing business, which I think it has met well. Number management, which is part of, the, of any budget, has been done normally. And there are pluses and minuses here and there, which are fine from everybody's perspective. Now, what are the themes in the budget which have impressed me? The first thing is the government has given fiscal stimulus in this budget, where the fiscal deficit targets, instead of being met in two years, has been extended to three years. This will help the government spend more to the benefit of the corporates. Uh, I would also like to state here that it is clear that the government wants to use public spending through its PSUs rather than corporate spending in the private sector or consumer spending to revive the economy. To that extent, increase of the fiscal deficit is a clear path of commitment to growth, which I think is good. The direction on black money is a great benefit for long term. As the measures come in, the Indian economy will get cleaner and there will be more money flow through the systems of the economy. Infrastructure focus has been seen through defined goals for roads, for housing. There has been an excise shift uh, from fuel excise to a road cess. There has been plug and play focus where uh, power uh, companies can um, be bid for completed projects on a plug and play basis, which is again an, a phenomenal initiative from the government, which is brilliant. Then there's ease of doing business in specific segments, which we have seen for entrepreneurs. Benefits have been given, which we really think is great. Then rather than just consumer spending, the government has created a path for the population to save more in health, in uh, pension plans, in gold, where he's trying to give them returns. All this money will ultimately come to the government and in longer term to longer term projects like infrastructure which again is what the government is looking for. So rather than just saying take more money in your hands and spend, here he's focusing and getting the money into the government. Then he's created a path for social security, which is very important for a country like India through insurance, which has been uh, something that all of us have been waiting for a long time. Finally, a small thing, Swachh Bharat. It's easy to say Swachh Bharat. It creates a awareness, it creates a culture. But I believe he has even given exemptions for spending in Swachh Bharat, which is brilliant. Positive news which are beneficial to the government from a financial perspective are of course there like adjustment to corporate tax, the increase in service and excise tax which may be seen negatively by some but good for the financials, the excise shift on fuel to infrastructure creation and the substitution of wealth tax. A lot of people may say that these are costs which are not good for the country but I think these are benefits to the government which will come in. So all in all, I think the government has delivered a brilliant policy document, has taken very strong initiatives which alter the direction of the economy and has maintained an ongoing focus on development of infrastructure. And hence, we continue to remain bullish post this budget and we maintain our targets into the future. Thank you.